Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, the right reaction. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Matthew 15, 25 through the 27. Sometimes in life, it's not necessarily our action that matters, but rather our reaction. How we react to things at time can determine its outcome. We all have a tendency to react naturally to various things. Some of our reactions can be negative and some can be positive. It all depends on the circumstance. Many times we tend to give a negative reaction to something negative that comes. We often believe that this is the right way to go. However, sometimes there are some things that happens which is a blessing in disguise. Jesus told the rich young ruler to sell his riches and give to the poor, then follow him. This man's reaction caused him to miss out on an opportunity from walking with the master. I remember growing up as a child, I would be going in the kitchen and one of my sisters probably asked me to bring something back for them. What I'd do though, I would bring it with me and then leave it halfway. And as soon as they see me without what they wanted, then they start to curse me out. That's when I would reach for the thing, show it to them and take it back as a means of punishment. Yes, it was cruel, but we are big people now. That, that's in the past. My point is, there are times when there are things that might present themselves to us. It might seem negative at first, but our reaction to it can determine whether it ends bad or it ends good. The scripture today speaks of the Syrophoenician woman who appeared to be quite prominent, somebody who had a bit of money. However, she was in need and she understood the principle that beggars have no choice. This was quite the scenario, embarrassment after embarrassment for this one woman. She was outside calling to Jesus while he was in a house. And get this, Jesus did not respond to her. His disciples even urged him to send her away because the master was tired and the disciples were overworked. But then Jesus chose to speak to her. Now, speaking to her took things to another level. It's one thing to try to embarrass me without me knowing, but it's another thing to embarrass me to my face. This woman asked for the healing of her daughter, but then Jesus responded by telling her blatantly she was nothing more than a dog. Now, I'm certain if it was many of us today would have been all up in her feelings and say, who do you think you are? Do you know who you're talking to? And so on and so forth. But this woman's desire to have her daughter heal outweighed her pride. She was willing to be trampled upon. She was willing to be embarrassed only for the fact that her child would be healed. Her reaction impressed Jesus in such a way that he had no choice but to give to her that which she asked for. I know what I said earlier about my sister seemed evil, but there are times when God would withhold some things from us just to see our reaction. There are times when God will give us something less than we wanted just to see how we are going to react to it. I want you to understand that God is not raising any spoiled children. Yes, you know those spoiled children where everything that they want, they get. And if they don't get it, then they go into a temper tantrum. So there are times when things might not work out. It's not necessarily that God is saying no. It's just that he's saying not yet. I cannot determine the actions that take place in my life. However, I have full control over my reaction to that which happens. The quote of the day, sometimes your victory is based on your reaction. As you go today, child of God, ask the Lord to work on your mind, work on the temper of yours. Remember, a soft and saturnatory wrath, but grievous words stir anger. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Hey, we made it.